Hello there everybody and welcome to welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with a very exciting coin indeed. This here is the 1816 King George III half crown coin. A half crown being one eighth of an old pound, as a pound at the time was worth a hundred sorry, was worth two hundred and forty pennies. So, let's go off and just get into it and give a few stats to this coin before we talk about its amazing design. So this here is a 925 silver coin, meaning it is 7.5% copper. It has a weight of 14.14 grams, which uh, the standard weight of these coins actually was 5 eleventh of a troy ounce. So uh, yeah, take it as you will. Uh, has a diameter of 32 millimeters, a thickness of 1.6 millimeters, and as you can see is round and it's oriented in the metal alignment. Now that means the obverse and reverse are aligned in the same direction. So this coin here, however, is, as you can probably guess, demonetized. But it was only demonetized as of 1969, as this coin here was still part of the old system, which I did mention was 240 pence to the pound. And that one there did not actually get removed until 1970, uh, where it was replaced with the decimal system, which we use now, which is uh, 100 pennies to the pound. But this coin here was still actually legal ten so it was still actually legal tender, over 150 years after its mintage. But um, <laughs> let's go off and uh, talk about the coin here before I get too distracted. So, let's go off and look at the reverse first. Now, there's a lot to break down here, and mine's quite worn as you can see. So some of these features I'll be skipping over, but I do have a nice image of a clean one on my screen, which I'll probably put down below somewhere. But um, yeah. So what we have here is a crowned garnet surrounding the outer part of the coin there, as you can see. And in the center, as we go in, we have the ornate royal shield, which is the curvy blob that you can see there. And it's overlaid with a smaller shield. You can't really see it here, but you can see the slight corner just there. Just there, you can see that. But um, this coin here, as an overall, is extremely pretty. And the royal coat of arms, the ornate royal shield, as you can see here, you can make out some of the details still. We have here the three lions which is for England, another three lines down there, I believe. That should be the Irish harp, and up there should be the Scottish uh, unicorn, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, basically that's uh, the design there. Uh, the You can see here the garnet surrounding it is still in very good condition on my coin, funnily enough, which is extremely pretty, I have to say. And down here at the bottom... We have, I'm not sure if, I think that's a horse there. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, St. George King the Dragon. As you can see, that's the horse with uh, St. George on top and the dragon laid beneath him. As you'll see in most typical British coinage. I'll probably put an image of my um, King George uh, crown just down here so you can see that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's basically it for this side. There's the lettering here. Uh, this is in Latin, mind you. Where it says, um, Brit Britarium Rex fid def uh, fide defensor uh, that there translates to king of the britons defender of the faith now there is actually more on here mine's completely worn off so i can't actually show it to you you can see the beginning of it here you can see the letter h and uh, i don't actually know what the full latin is or is it french i'm not too sure but um it says here basically oni soit qui mal y pense I think I should end about here. Mine's completely worn off. But um, basically, what it translates to should be, shame on he who thinks evil of it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure which language this comes from, but uh, yeah. Mine's completely worn off, so you can't see it on my coin, really. You can see what? There's H-O and the letter O there. And um, yeah, that's about it, really. You can't really see any letters on my coin. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So, let's now go off and uh, just flip this over onto its side, and then, you know, take a look at it. Also, there are dentricles, as you can see there, mind you. There are some dentricles there. But, yeah. It's a reeded edge coin, as you can see. You can see the nice reading all across that. And, there we go. Go on to the obverse of the coin here. Now, this here is a large loretted bust of, you know, King George III. It's the bullhead bust, uh, most people call it. And the legend is surrounding it. So, what we can see here is King George on the left, and on the right, De Gratia, which means, just translated fully, it just means George the Third, 
uh, by the grace of God. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, underneath it we have the date, uh, 1816 there. And you can see, mine's obviously worn, but you can see the denticles are on this side as well. Now, this coin here is very pretty indeed, and it might actually surprise you that both sides of these coins were engraved by Thomas Wion, or Wion, I'm not sure how to pronounce his surname, probably across your screen now. Oops. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Thomas Wion was the guy who engraved both sides of this coin, meaning he did the bust, and he also did the reverse here. Very intricate work by him indeed. Now, this here, as I did mention, is a silver coin, meaning it's a lot more valuable than a regular coin from this period. So, how much is it worth? Well, this coin here is worth basically about £9, which for you Americans is about... Oh, 9 plus 4.5, that would be about, what, 13.5, so it's about worth about 13 and a half US dollars. Um, it's a pretty expensive coin, but obviously you have to go off and remember that people aren't going to sell it for that cheap, as it is a very old coin indeed. Now, the coin itself is just so pretty and immaculate. Mine's not in the best condition, sadly, but it's still a very nice piece of history to have, as King George III, up until Victoria, was the longest-serving monarch, and um, some of you probably know him as the king that um, basically screwed America over, and some of you may know him as the Mad King, but uh, <laughs> it's very nice to have a bust of him like that. It's uh, pretty cool indeed. I'm not used to seeing him like this, as I always grew up with horrible histories, and I'm used to seeing him played by, I can't remember his name, but the skinny fella who always portrayed King George III in um, horrible histories. So, seeing him with the bullhead bust is a, <laughs> a, bit of a, stark dif a bit of a stark contrast, really. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, that's about it for this video. And please do remember to subscribe down below, leave a like, obviously a comment if you want to tell me something. Leave me some feedback as well if you want. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day. You're not coming out, you know that. Right, well you know you're not coming out. Mm -hmm. I'll come back in in a second, okay? Good girl.